Hello and welcome back to another review with me, Kevin, from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week you can see change of scenery. We're in the living room today. It is Friday as well. It's been a really, really busy week. I've had family from America over and I've got my partner's family from Canada over. So I'm trying to fit this in. So it is Friday. So hopefully we will get this out today. If not, we first thing in the morning. So I'll do my best. But let's get to the whiskey. So what we've got this week is we're away to Isla. We went back. Got myself a nice Kohoman. So what I've got here is the Kohoman Madeira cast matured. 50% ABV, there's only 17,000 bottles ever made from it. And this was supposed to be released last year, but they had some bottling issues from being able to get the glass that they were wanting. It was a 2016, I turned it down, it was... In yeah, May of 2016 is when they started the process of this. They used round about 46 fresh Madeira casks. So Madeira is a little island in the Atlantic, not too far from Portugal, slightly closer to Morocco. So having Madeira, a fortified wine, they kind of, with this wine you're expecting sweet things, kind of dessert, you can get dry Madeira, very, very sweet Madeira. So with this, I'm not too sure what to expect. I've actually been gifted this the rest of the bottle so it's my kind of first real try i have tried it at a couple of festivals but i've never got to sit down and really really take it in and, and absorb it all so i poured it i can smell it just now it is starting to fill the room there is a kind of sweetness it is peak there it's about 50 ppm parts per million of phenol so we've got the kind of standard isla um peat levels there not gel filtered and natural color so madeira having that sweet fortified wine hit to it but we look at Cohoman, and Cohoman 2005 founded on Isla, one of the newer distilleries after Lagavulin, I think it was. Cohoman was the newest distillery at that time on the island. So they're starting to really grow and grow after the last few years. Anthony Willis, the founder, is just putting so much time and effort in buying some of the farm, local farm. Now they do 100% local barley um, that they mature very close. I think it's 200 tonnes of barley they harvest every year, which they use. Um, they malt about, I think it's 30 or 40% of their own barley as well. And then the rest comes from Port Ellen, which is kind of stable for Isla. But let's get on to the whiskey. Let's see what we've got in here. Legs already, wonderful, sticking to the glass. As I say, that just having the glass sitting here, it's filling the room. I can smell it. So let's get it on the nose. has got that if you've ever had fortified wine you've had an a kind of aperitif after dinner some sweet um wines and things like that and kind of you've got ice wine it's got that kind of typical smell to it there is a very noticeable sweetness you kind of get past that there's an oiliness to it as well there is that coastal <sighs> i always get kind of coastal with isla just because it's right there it's getting battered by the elements. It is, it's kind of like <sighs> candied orange and Himalayan salt in there as well, but it's just that kind of more sweet orangey little zest of salt on top and there's a little um, maybe like an orange puree, a kind of sweet orange puree as well. There is that little peat smoke coming through. It's nothing too, too evident. I do feel it's because on the nose it's very, very sweet. And peat as well can be sweet. Well, let's try this on the palate. Let's see how we do. Slander, bro. So there's the really kind of grassy, dry hay, that kind of candied orange again coming through, that little bit of, I would say it's not like a wood burn I'm getting from this, like the kind of peat smoke, it is more dry grass, dry hay, a very dry smoke coming through from it. So as I was saying with Madeira, you can get dry Madeira, you can get sweet Madeira, this I'm not too sure, this might be dry just from the way I'm feeling it, 
the mouthfeel from it. It's very nice, but it is, it's grassy, it's clean for that coastal orange marmalade, maybe more along those lines. It's dry. It's very, very drying. It dries very quickly. Long mouthfeel. The longevity stays. I can still taste it. But it's dry. Can't get away from the orange. Can't get from that away from the hay. That kind of little bit of um, oiliness. The coastal, heavily in salt. <coughs> dry apricot marmalade. It's along those lines. I like it. I like go home and kind of co range stuff as well. This is something different. Wine cask can put people off. I, I do know people that aren't too keen on wine cask, but that's really good. Isla Peat, Madeira cask. It's dry. It's different. 50, uh, 50 ppm. I wouldn't guess it. I think it's the sweetness and the dryness really kind of. It's, it concentrates more on the cask than it does on the DNA of Cahoman. They always use kind of first fill, really fresh uh, Madeira cask. One of the things I was able to find is that sometimes they heat the wine up. I think at the time when Madeira was getting moved across the Atlantic, when it got to the equator, it'd be warmer when it was in the ship's bowls. Um, and when it was in there, it was heating up, interacting with that wood and give it this really sweet, intense flavour. <clears throat> I did write another wee note somewhere. So it was five years and three months and 46 fresh Madeira casks. That's what's the makeup of this. So it's intense, sweet, dry, soft smoke. Isla. Stunning. I enjoy it. This is the first dram of the day, so going PT, I usually don't do that. I usually build my way up. But as it is Friday, it is... 2.30 in the afternoon here just now, um, so I've had to get this out quick today, unfortunately, I'm sorry. But I'd like to raise a wee glass to my Texas family, it was all it was fantastic seeing you a lot, um, it's been too long. i able to go to some whiskey bars in Edinburgh yesterday, you can maybe tell by the voice as well today. But again, safe trips all the way back at your home and your other wee kind of tour around Europe, and I'll raise a wee glass to you guys. And for everyone for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting, thank you so much. You guys mean so much to me as well. Have a safe trip, everyone. As always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Enjoy me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Plunge.